So do you maybe feel sometimes a little bit confused by all the concepts that um, surround the, the word exposure in photography? Well, if you do it, you're not alone. Um, it's definitely one of the more complicated things that you have to learn as a photographer, and it's something that you can really only get good at through practice. Now, to get to the point where you really understand exposure, I think a really key term and something you really should uh, maybe learn is a little bit about reciprocity. Reciprocity is one of the coolest and most amazing things and I didn't learn it until much later in my career I guess you could say as a photographer and I so wish that I had learned it and understood it a little earlier. Basically reciprocity says that there are more than one way uh, or there's many, there are many ways to get the same lighting in this situation using different settings on the camera and I'll explain how that works in a second. To do that, I'm going to use this photograph that I took on a trip to Dublin, and it's just one of my favorite portraits, and I thought it kind of could be a good way of explaining the different aspects of reciprocity. Reciprocity is also um, expressed sometimes uh, as the relationship between the intensity of your light times time, which equals your exposure. So if you understand that, it basically means how much light you have available, so it's a combination of the light that's outside the camera and the lens that you're using, uh, so what kind of f-stop you're using, and the amount of time that you're exposing it, so that means your shutter speed. And that equals a given exposure value or it's a certain exposure look for, it, for an image. So how about we take this image and we'll tear it apart and we'll talk about different ways that I could have taken this photograph to get the same lighting using different settings. So to start out with, I used an F4 on this camera, on this uh, photograph. So my F number is 4. It's a little bit sort of the lower range. You can see here in the background things are a little bit out of focus. So that's F4. My shutter speed was 1 200th, which is pretty fast, but not too fast. And my ISO setting was 200 which is one of my favorite portrait um, sort of films I use. I use this, this was on a digital camera, but um, it, using 200 is a really great way to get good portraits. It just you get lots of quality out of them. All right, so you've got your ISO at 200, which I'm, we're just going to lock that in right now. We're going to leave ISO 200 right where it's at. We'll play with that later. But we're going to then talk about different ways to use these two settings to get the same lighting situation. Nothing will change about the way it's lit, although maybe the look of the photograph might change a little bit. So here's home base. So let's maybe then take my f-stop and move it, open it up a little bit. So we're going to open up the camera. And so from f4, one stop over is going to be f2.8. So that's going to be a more shallow depth of field, so things are going to be um, a little bit less in focus. So this is increasing the intensity of our light, which then has an effect on our time. It means we're going to have to cut our time down because more light's coming in, so that means to expose the film correctly, we're going to have to take the photograph more quickly. So the difference here between 4 and 2.8 is one stop. So we have added one stop of light plus one. So down here we need to minus one. And for those of you who are doing the math right now, think about it for a second. And what would be the math? It would be one four hundred. So one stop of light is on shutter speeds is to either divide or multiply your uh, your shutter speed by two. So you're at from a go from a two hundredth to a four hundredth. So you've taken the photograph twice as quickly. You've allowed twice as much light in, so you've taken it twice as quickly, and therefore come up with the exact same amount of light. Although, in the photograph that would be resulting from this, you would have a little bit shallower depth of field, so things behind him would be a little bit more out of focus, and maybe even you might just have just his eyes in focus, and even back to his ear, you might be out of focus all day. So that is reciprocity going that way. Now, let's try going the other way, and this is where 
you're really going to maybe hopefully understand um, how this all works. So going in this direction, one stop of light from four. Actually, how about we go two stops? We'll go, we'll go way up. We're going to go up to F8. So our F stop moves up to eight. So all of this suddenly snaps into focus. So all of this, um, these doors and things in the background are probably going to be pretty well in focus. We're shooting with a 28 millimeter lens here, and that's pretty deep um, at F8. And your shutter speed is there for, so what we've done here is we have subtracted eight stop, or sorry, subtracted two stops of light. So we've minus two, so here we need to plus two. So our shutter speed is then going to cut in half twice. So um, 200 cut in half is going to be 100, and then cut that in half again, and it's going to be 50. So our new shutter speed is going to be 1 50th of a second, which is you know, getting down into the slow range of things. So it's a pretty slow photograph. Now that is everything done at ISO 200. What if we were to change our shutter speed here? This would change everything. If we were to change our um, ISO maybe to 400, well then we have then automatically allowed one stop of light. So then we would need to subtract the stop of light somewhere up here. So maybe we could stop to subtract from our 200. So taking away uh, from that, you would then move here to 400. Well, so you would do the same thing that you just did here. So you have 400 of, of light. And then to do the math going this way, if you were shooting this at 400th of a, of a second, you've um, added a stop here, so you need to subtract a stop here somewhere, and we're going to do it from our shutter speed because it's a little bit easier. So we're going to double our shutter speed and make it an 800th of a second. So that, that would allow half as much light in because we've allowed twice as much light in by using our ISO, or we've made the film sensitive, twice as sen sensitive as it was before. Um, same thing over here, so we have added here, so we need to subtract here. And this would bring us then to a one hundredth of a second. So you can see how that changes the math all around. And basically this is all photography is, is this little set of math. And we're gonna, um, I'm gonna go through and show you the stops of light in a different video. You might have even already seen that video. Um, but that will give you a better idea of how all of this works. So, Basically, this is the idea of reciprocity. You move one direction with one setting, and then you have to move in the opposite direction with the other setting. So just remember that, and you'll be good to go. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. We're going to be coming at you with more lessons about 